All right, welcome back to the back nine coverage of the 2022 College Disc Golf National Championship. We are at North Cove Disc Golf and Social Club in beautiful Marion, North Carolina. I'm Hayden Henry with the PGA, joined by Felix Vega of Ace Run Productions. Hello, exciting, everybody. exciting front nine. Absolutely. We saw a little bit of a slow start from the number one ranked team in the nation, Mizzou. They started to get it going there towards the end of the front nine. I think they're starting to get their legs under them. And we've got an exciting back nine with a lot of difficult holes coming up. Definitely. This is this is where the intensity on the gorge course, this, the newest course of the three here on this property, um, it really picks up. Definitely the more competitive of the three courses. Again, we see here the cast of Team Mizzou. As we stated, number one ranked team in the nation. Texas Longhorns really got off to a strong start there, just pushing it from the start. And we come into a par three. You're looking at that right. Par three at 503 feet, starting here on hole 10. This is a downhill shot getting down to this flat area here and then making almost a 90 degree turn up the hill into you kind of start to see a theme here from whole from a part one some tunnel and protected greens on this course just to add to the difficulty so you're not just playing that traditional ball golf course even though this is an old ball golf course there is some challenge to a lot of these shots you had to do a double take on the par on this one, to be honest, and it, it came in as the third hardest hole in the day, and rightfully so, just over par. There were a few birdies on that, so shout out to whoever got a two on this thing. Yeah. As you can see there, that's the safe shot, kind of getting your team in position to go up the hill, although a little bit pinched. I'm sure he didn't want to be quite that far right. That's turned over. That thing is sent. Whew. Yeah, Clinton provided his own commentary there a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can usually tell if it's a good shot or not <laughs> by the team commentary. Big sweeping hyzer. You can see, hear the wind starting to pick up here. You're going to see the wind become more of a factor on this back nine as we got a little later in the day. And that thing just took off from Carson. Just a great shot. These guys are smooth. Yeah. All eight of them, really. Yeah. Nice forehand turnover, putting them right in line with the gap. Definitely a position shot. And Mizzou out of position here. Like we said, tight on the right side, having to throw a high stalling forehand on Heiser over the tree line. Perfect. A little tighter. And almost oh. nearly perfect. <laughs> that was almost, yeah, that's underneath. There you go. There you go. Yep. Right underneath. And here you see Texas right in line. Actually, both of their shots lined up very well to the gap here. So very good position play. <laughs> His teammate turned to him in typical doubles fashion and said, great up. <laughs> Again, just a lot of fun out here. And, you know, the teams, we had a little bit of a backup and Ohio State walked by and, and threw the horns down to Texas. Oh, man. I mean, they're, they're catching it left and right. And it, it turned out, you know, an Ohio State quarterback transferred to Texas. So oh. just kind of tying in college athletics. You know, we had yeah. Kansas here just won a national championship last week. And, you know, Clemson, Alabama, you know, we, we can go on and on about the, the powerhouses that are now jumping into college disc golf. It's a beautiful thing to see and an exciting thing for the sport. Hole 11 is another fun elevation change. A par 3, 375 feet. You're coming out of this tunnel. You're, you see the elevation drop, but it doesn't necessarily come into play. You're almost at the same level as the pin, but controlling the uh, low speed fade of your disc will be key here. As you can see, this is perched right on the middle of a sloping hillside. So keeping your disc level has to be the first priority. Awesome hole. They're on the little mini mountain hill. Let's 
smooth sidearm from Noah. Whoa! Caught an air pocket there that just dropped them straight down and probably robbed them of about 40 feet or so. Oh, that's gone. He knows it. Very easy to do on a hole like this. Coming from the woods out into the open. I mean, the wind kind of swirls through this little, I guess, cove is the perfect description mm -hmm. for this go. place. Yeah. Similar miss there, and that's probably going to be the common play on this hole. Oh, head off. He doesn't like it. Yeah, so Texas will have a long uphill upshot approach. Ooh, beauty. And now you've got the green light to run it. And he did. That was chain high the entire time, just blows by. But that's what you want to do if your partner's parked here in this format. You never want to be short. You'd rather blow by by 100 feet and give it an honest bid. Solid look there. Ooh. Hole 11, you know, kind of middle of the pack as far as scoring on the day. A few birdies. And here's some of that team aspect we we're talking about. The entire team runs up to see if they're safe to be able to give it a bid on the second shot. They're like, why not just lay up and be sure? Yeah, they did it on a bunch of holes. You know, running up all the way up the fairway to check. You know, when I play doubles, that doesn't happen. We'll just, say, <laughs> just go for it. Yeah. <laughs> There's a little bit more on the line here, though, than, than the uh, casual league doubles. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> There's a major title involved here. I know being from Georgia myself, having the Bulldogs win last year, it was quite a big deal. Oh, definitely. We're seeing that on social media. All these alumni from these schools are, are ch chiming in. Um, you know, a lot of roll tides out there, a lot of Mizzou. Oh, yeah. Hole 12. When you're on a course like this, you're looking for a hole shaped like this to be able to just open up and bomb away. And this is at par 5, 986 feet. A huge elevation drop. You've got OB on your left and OB on your right. You want to stay in the middle of the fairway your second shot kind of gets you in position here to possibly have an eagle look two big bomber shots can get you it both of these teams have the arms to do it let's see if any of them can and this is such a strategy hole here because if you've got one guy that's got a massive arm you're kind of leaning on him all right go ahead and take the chance i'll play safe and you go for it right in the middle and Quentin does have that big arm it's getting a little stable early he dropped safe a big thank you to our spotters they were out there all day it was it got to be warm towards the end of the day and they've been out there for hours on end just getting blasted by the sun Again, smooth and probably a common common play right there. Yeah. And now, let's see if he's going to try to push it a bit here. No way. He gets Touchdown. Through <laughs> and still pushing right. That needs to fade, though. That's a huge, huge first shot. <laughs> Right side, you're going to have to fight that tree line all the way down. Not much room to work. But he doesn't. He is just safe. You can see the yellow whiskers there just in bounds. Oh, that's fading out early. Needs to grab some grass. He is out of bounds. Strategy definitely in play here. They talked. There's a creek right there. They talked about laying up, just staying safe, and green light. Oh, 
It's got some good turn to it. Does it have the stability to fight back over? What a, what a move on the Scorpius from uh, Drew Cantrell on that shot. Obviously getting some love. And there we looking right at the U. Talk about a statement. I mean, they, like we said, Mizzou kind of got off to the slow start, but all of a sudden, close out the back nine, and here on this big par five, they're putting it together. And getting the eagle on hole 12. I mean, definitely gettable. Another star frame there, an eagle and a birdie. Yeah, this one definitely played as the easiest hole in the day, but there were not that many eagles. So that, the Tigers definitely picking up a stroke on the field right there. Just like that, they move within one of Texas. Hole 13 is a tight, fun hyzer shot if you're a right-handed player. 248 feet, you're making that wide tree gap coming out into the opening here and then you need to make a hard left hand turn as you're going to see this beautiful rock wall here frames up the basket on the left hand side really with that much of a backstop you feel safe kind of giving it an ace run off the tee pretty safe shot there Sure, you want it to be a little closer. And is this Drew? This is Drew with his justice. Good disc choice there. Fights through. Oh, that is part. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we, we. I don't know if you caught like the subtle cheers in the background there, but I believe this is when uh, there was an ace on hole 16 from Ferris State. Yep, solid ace, and we'll see that hole here in a minute. And Ferris State is a is a stalwart of these championships. You know, the women's team is three times defending, the men have won it several times. So Ferris State brings the hype, and they're all decked out, they got the van, and, and they're rolling deep here. And you could tell by that cheer that, that you could hear all over this property. Yeah, as soon as we heard it, we're like, we think somebody just aced, and, uh, one of the players from Mizzou was like, that sounded like it came from 16. They nailed it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Trickle in. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there are some instances out here where that could probably happen with these boulders. Right? Yeah. I could easily see somebody kind of ripping one into that boulder there and having it ricocheting right back into the chains. Just slide right back in. It doesn't matter how it got there. Exactly. It's all the same on the scorecard. And just like that, we're all tied up. Yeah, Missouri with another birdie there. So an eagle and a birdie on back-to-back -back holes. Hole 14 is a fun and terrifying hole. You are, you've got an elevation drop from the tee here, par three, 405 feet. The gap, the line, everything is right there in front of you. But you'll see here as the drone starts to approach this green, the danger factor that comes along with this hole as well. Water directly behind this basket kind of swoops around left and right as well. I mean, you can run it, but... <laughs> it's there for the taking. But... Yeah. It's a taller task than it may appear. You can take the ace or the water can take your disc. It's it's your call. Ooh, that is turned and drifted. Gone, yeah, Jeez. that is way back there. That is close to the water line, so we'll have to see how they play that. That is straight at it. If it fades, this is going to be good. Sick. Oh. That was such a beautiful shot that deserves such a better result. This one, this line caught me off guard, but it is working. It gets knocked. Oh, those trees kind of drop it down early. 
but it is safe and it gives them an option. That looks like it's going to check up though. And it does. So they'll have a have about a 40 foot look. Just again, uh, another textbook way of how to play this questionable call. You know, consult with your team, consult with everyone else on your card, and that magical word, again, the PGA hat coming on, provisional, provisional, provisional. They did this right. Yeah. And they actually ended up being inbounds from their first shot. They did get confirmation from the TD. Um, so they just played out this one shot from there. Otherwise, yeah, they would have taken the provisional there and it, it makes all the sense in the world. If that is out of bounds, then you also take your shot from right by the basket for the drop in. Right, which would have been a close, you know, tap in circle three. Yeah. Texas with a look here to get one back. A little low. You kind of wonder being a right hand putter here, how much the hyzer of your putt kind of comes into play with the OB being so close. Oh, I mean, it's anything to the left here. You're probably heading to the water. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, this one's probably nearly half a stroke under par, so both these teams kind of losing a stroke to the field here. I can see that, yeah. But again, a very, very nervy hole. Great hole. see some Alabama boys here with the quick stick <laughs> they're fishing oh yeah a lot of fishing going on out here <laughs> not for trout right for frisbees <laughs> hole 15 uh, par 4 coming in at just 449 feet but this is a tricky one for sure the car path here on your left hand side is out of bounds really a position play to get to this peninsula here and then you're needing to get across onto this island so everything short of that plays as a hazard. There is an over the top line that some people have tried. Uh, just, you have to have a massive arm to be able to get over it though. Most teams are just gonna pitch up to the landing zone, cut across. Yeah, almost a double island hole. You've gotta hit it on the money right here and then get over. Yeah, and that's placed right on the peninsula there so they'll have an easy look. A little wider here and gets to skip but stays safe as well. So Mizzou with two options there from where, wherever they want to play it. Car path skip. Perfect. Yep. Quite a few birdies on this hole. No, e no eagles. So. Hmm. He's trying in here. This would be the route. Whoa. Over the top and that landed on the island. It's hard to tell here that just you can see a good close up of the trees. <laughs> but behind those trees is where the actual wow. disc was. What a shot. Yeah. Well, we know they're not going to get an eagle now, Hayden. Spoiler. <laughs> oh, no. That is such an unfortunate roll. See if his partner can pick him up here. Smooth. Puts it about 15, 20 feet. Long bid just he almost got that. Eagle. Yeah. Almost. I told someone this was the North Carolina version of the Triple Island Hole from Las Vegas. Oh, yeah, it does similar, have a similar feel. Similar vibe. A little yeah. bit more of a turn. Yeah. More rocks and trees. So maybe it's not too similar, but it, it kind of gave me that feel. But it's really, yeah, placement shot, placement shot. Clean putt there for Noah to get the birdie. And no eagles, but both teams are going to walk away here with the birdies, getting another star frame.
two different ways to attack it getting to the same result. Hole 16, par three, 301 feet. I'm gonna do my best to try to explain this. The right hand side where you see the whiskers is safe. The left hand side of this waterway here is safe as well. That rock area that you see is casual relief that takes you to an automatic drop zone, which gives you about a 30 foot putt. Uh, in the water is out of bounds, long is out of bounds. There's a lot going on here, and as you see, the the basket is perched on the bridge. Maybe one of the most, I'm going to go ahead and just say unique holes yeah. I've ever seen. Unique. <laughs> that and is he out has of found that would be. Yeah. Um, uh, it's, it's one that's going to spark conversations and discussions. Um, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Tell us in the comments what you think of this type of hole design if you've ever seen anything similar to this uh, at any of your local courses, we'd love to hear about it. That skips into that rock protected zone. So you see right there that line that says DZ is where they would be taking that from. So it kind of gives you an advantage to just kind of chuck it into the rocks mm -hmm. and take your shot at a 30 footer. Yeah, no stroke. Yeah. So that one is safe. But again, because his partner's in that protected area, they get to go right to that drop zone with free relief. But Mizzou did not quite make it to the rocks, so they have to take it from where they landed, which is still in bounds. So this is their second shot here. And this is just gnarly. Yeah. <laughs> and you can see the cutouts on, on, on the railing of the bridge, too. Like trying to land something either on the asphalt here or the bridge is a daunting task from here. And that is gone. So he gave it a bit, and it is now floating down the river gently. Eventually, it's settled. Smart play. There you That's go. That's what you have to do. Limit the damage. And here's Texas from that casual relief going to that drop zone. Getting the birdie. And this is, again, the hole that Ferris State aced earlier on today. So props to them. Like, if you don't hit the basket, it's gone. <laughs> and we, uh, we have a video of that over on the PGA Facebook. So go check that out. And uh, he explains what it was going through his mind. And uh, pretty cool. Sweet. It, it kept going. But he did get it back. Yeah. More fishing out here in Marion, <laughs> North Carolina. So Texas taking a stroke there to get the one up here on Mizzou, moving into hole 17. And these next two holes are really fun. Hole 17, a par four. Initially off the, the rip here, you want to stay safe. There is hazard on the left and right. Well, there's out of bounds on the left. A creek on the left is uh, out of bounds. Car path on the right is hazard. So this little strip and sliver of grass is where you want to be. Uh, really, it's just a placement shot off the off the tee, and then boy, a gutsy shot on your second one to try to stick this pin. Yeah, for sure. Just tracking scores, we had a number of hot rounds coming into the day, and then I refresh and saw final, and it wasn't the number mm. that they had coming into 17 and 18. So definitely a daunting finish here. Yeah, that shot is safe there for Texas. That has some steam behind it. It needs to get back over. Just sneaky power. And f just on the cart path, which is a hazard. Teamwork right here. Yeah, just this is... Stand cool. still, probably mid-range. I see a PA3 just went putter. Oh, wow. Nice and safe right up the middle. And that enables this to happen. Exactly. Not safe. Just ripping on hyzer carpet sit down and that is right in the middle that is a, a booming shot That's down it. to that sliver it's just i mean i don't think you could go down there and place it any better absolutely oh this needs to stop doing that hyzer thing it's doing okay 
and the tree checks him down and keeps him safe. He's got a driver in hand. Looks like a wraith. Get back over. And that is hazard. That tall grass is just not going to enable the skip that you normally see on what would, you know, be a regular ball golf course. And this is a tricky shot. He's he's got a pinched angle because of that tree, and he's got a flat top firebird. <laughs> His teammates <laughs> ribbing him for a great that shot. Was so ugly, but I just did not <laughs> like that shot at all. <laughs> Going with the turnover putter here. This was about 250, 260 feet left and beautiful touch. Two great options there. That's not, yeah, that was never high enough. And that is found the OB. So pressure here. Settle? I'll settle. Oof. Say it. Yeah. It's fine. I mean, we have... We can reach it into, like, hand like... I see Hayden walking along there with the team, having a nice discussion about course design. <laughs> about this finish. 16, hey. 17, 18. Yeah. Good birdie there for Mizzou. That is a great birdie. Just, just textbook. Is that accurate, Mr. PDG Ago? That is accurate. There you go. So you just take it from where it lies. Getting the par, and once again, they are knotted up. Hole 18 is a monster. Par 4, 818 feet. Off the tee, you've got a giant tree obstructing your options here. The waterway on the left-hand side, in the water actually plays OB, but there are some areas that you can land in the spillway that are still inbounds. You can see the whiskers here marking the out-of-bounds. The left-hand side is safe, and then you're playing onto this sliver peninsula, daunting, treacherous green. <laughs> Postage stamp, all of the above. It yeah. is. Driving in, you look down and saw that, and Okay, I'm fireworks like, at the end. Yeah, I'm like, that's not part of the course, right? Oh, it is. It's 18? Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> These trees right off the tee. Oh. So you have a, a flex shot to the left or this big hyzer, as we see here. That is safe. Here, we're going to see the flex show. Pencil shavings off that off that tree. Swing on back. That's good. And that is great position Clinton. there. Quentin, another great shot. Oh, that needs some height. It's hard to tell, but it landed on the safe side of that spillway there. So in the creek, but on dry land. So that is not a penalty. This goes left and ends up on the cart path and would be ultimately ruled out of bounds. Another lengthy discussion here about where the cart path is listed on the, the player's guide and how it actually plays. Yeah, the, the, the cart path as it flows has a curve right there and there's just this little extra sliver of asphalt that kind of extended out. And of course, he landed right on that questionable spot. But again, they played it correctly. Yeah, they actually played, so they played out two different discs, and you're going to see at the end here, there's going to be multiple putts. Oh, that needs to stop. And that is out of bounds. So we're showing you the shots from the safe throw, which ultimately being the correct throw that they played mm -hmm. from. Provisional, provisional, oh. provisional. Oh, yeah, word of the day. <laughs> <laughs> this coverage brought to you by the word provisional. Saving strokes, left and right. Yeah. And that is out of bounds. So you are seeing the teeth 
of this course. What did this what did this hole ultimately end up playing at average wise? Definitely the hardest hole on the day of uh, nearly half a stroke or just over half a stroke over par. Mm-hmm. Just a handful of birdies, a lot of pars, and then a lot of bogeys and worse. So Mizzou going out of bounds on both shots. Texas hits the tree early left that is inbounds though. If this grabs, and it does, and they've they're gonna have a look for a birdie, or for a par. I'm sorry. Yep. Went through that provision. Yeah. So that actually ended up working in their in their favor. So, may, maybe pressing here a little bit at the end for Mizzou. Yeah, I mean they were looking at. I think when they came in, they were talking about double digits needing to be where they wanted to be at to really be pushing that leaderboard. You know, like I said earlier, we I saw a number of scores in this seven, eight, nine range, and they dropped significantly after they got done this hole. That's one of the most unfortunate rolls I've seen. Yes, he was three feet from the basket, and ends up rolling all the way ob. So now again, we talked about the wind. You can see the, the leaves rustling and everything moving around. The wind is definitely picked up here on hole 18. And lifts that putter. Actually, it wasn't too bad. It just kind of helicoptered straight down. Conferring with the other team that he is outside of the circle here. And hits the tree on the right. Texas will tap in the par and get off this hole as fast as possible. <laughs> I was going to say, the par's got to feel like a birdie on this hole. Like, oof. Almost playing from the wrong mark, but the teammate there to step up and be like, hey, that's not ours. And here you see the second tap out here from the other lie that they were playing. So, and Shout out to these guys. We saw it a number of times, and, and they played it correctly every single time. I mean, it's a tricky format and some tricky rules. and I mean, sharp guys, obviously. Played it correctly. Know your rules. Uh, <laughs> have the player book there. Go to UDISC. It has the PDGA rules on there as well. It helps. <laughs> but that wraps up round one here from the College Disc Golf National Championships. You see the leaderboard here. Ferris State, Northern Arizona, Georgia at nine, Illinois, Illinois State, Appalachian State. A lot of big names on that leaderboard. No. And a lot of golf left to play. We're going to shift to some singles action and then a couple more rounds of team. And, you know, anything can happen. You know, there's All-American status on the end, on the line at the end of it. And then that, that big team trophy that all these all these guys are vying for. So a lot of exciting golf left here in uh, Marion, North Carolina. If you're ever in the area, I would definitely recommend checking it out. And great vibes on at, at this tournament. I mean, mm -hmm. that, that's all. That's what we talked about. Like this college disc, disc golf is just a vibe. Um, a lot of positivity, a lot of camaraderie, a lot of team spirit. You know, just just like if you went to a college football game, you know, it, it has those same feels.